Hey there, David Hawk here, and today I want to show you how I made these. And let me tell you how this came about. I saw somebody actually post a video in the Xtool group on Facebook, and they were engraving a baseball, and it had multiple colors in it, and it kind of ran each color. So it's how I did this one, although I got the... I probably should have gotten it a little darker. There are two different ways to do this. So each of these is a different method and I wanted to walk you through that today. So first of all, this one, you can see it's not quite as clear as the other one is. Anyway, in person, I don't know that the camera is really showing that so much, but in person, the second one did it a lot better. And the way to do that is to break it down into a vector and then by color and then you can set parameters for your speed and your power based on the different layer. So the first way I did it, I just did it real easy. I came in here to bitmap mode and left it at grayscale. And then I did my power. I ran power up to, I think I ran it to 90 and then I set the lowest at 50. That's what got this. So if you're looking for something like this, you can do it in grayscale. It just doesn't come out quite as clear as the other way. So let me now show you how to go in and vectorize this. I just pulled this image. I know this is a copywritten image. I'm not selling it. I'm just using it to show you how to do this. And I chose this image because the guy that did the baseball actually used an image very similar. Well, it was the Tom and Jerry, the Jerry Mouse character. That's what he did. So that's why I'm using it. And I guess my lack of creativity of finding another one. So let me come in and just show you. So we did, we, we've got the image without a background. Now we have to come in and click trace. And I like to run the smoothness as far as I can. And you can see it's traced it. But now Xtool has this layering by color, which is really cool and something if you click this little eyeball down here it'll show you the image a little better the way it's going to show up so now just click save so that was that was really the key that tracing by color so now what we have if you come into layers over here you can see we have the original image and i'll pull that out so let's get rid of that we don't want to engrave that That'll mess things up, so just get it off the canvas. And then we come into this group, expand it, and now what you have is the individual layers. And they're all set to engrave, but you can see, well, it doesn't know what material. So I was using, the ones that I ran were basswood. So I used basswood. And you can see this is going to be the, the kind of the inner the inner part so you kind of want that to be you know a lighter color I I think I used actually I think I left it at 85 that that's probably good I'll leave that at 85 85 power 225 speed then you know what this you're gonna see too this is running on the X tool f2 ultra UV this will work on any machine it doesn't matter which one you've got it's just going to change the, the parameters a little bit. And what you need to do is just change the parameters based on you want what colors you want. So if you, you know, if you want this color, just click this one. But in that one-click set, it's the easiest way to do this. So now you can see this one is the outside per perimeter. I want this one set to darker. So let's come up here to do 85 power, 100 speed. And then this one is the inner parts that I want set lighter. And we can come over here and just choose a lighter speed. So now if we come down through here, you can see we've got our different powers and speeds set. And that is how you get this. And you can see it running right here and how it kind of just does one part, one layer at a time. So it's kind of cool to watch. And also it gets you the effect that you might be looking for for multicolored engravings. So hope that helps. Hope you, this video finds you well. Oh, if you know anybody 
that this video might help, please share it with them. If, if you've liked it, I would really appreciate a like on the video. And also, if you really liked it, I'd really appreciate you if you would subscribe to my channel. So, happy engraving, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.